There's some gay jobs out here, man. What about oh man, Tell- a catcher, a oh. bat catcher, is a catcher, a catcher. Should be a receiver too, though. No, I'm saying for the um <laughs> in baseball, he's like literally sitting on his knees behind a man's ass, and he has another man behind him. Looking at the man ass, swing a bat. While another man is ball. throwing balls always. at his face. While another man throwing balls I'm, I'm at his face. That. I'm not going to say that. JR4, what's up? Because then you're, I'm probably going to ruin one of your gimmicks. Okay. Oh, I got another one. What about a barber? <laughs> he, li- he literally okay. rubbed his meat on your shoulder the whole time he's cutting <laughs> your hair. I'm saying. No, <laughs> I like, bro, that better be a cell phone. That's why I don't go to no barber, bro. I and laugh to myself like, because you have a story about this too. I do. I do. At the That's tattoo I shop, my own at, shit, at our tattoo yeah. shop is a motherfucking right behind. I the do shop. have a car. Right beside our car. I don't. Right what about what yeah. about a, um um? We call that dude. The dude the hang glide, not hang oh. glide, but um. The dude on the um the parachute. The parachute people when they motherfuckers the jump out the window, he literally got his dick on somebody back the whole time. So you saying it? Is- once again, straight men will give you one. So you're saying anytime somebody's pelvis is near you, that's gay? If I got to jump straight out of an airplane scared. with a dick on my back, I don't think I want to get on the airplane and that's jump out of the airplane. Of toxic masculinity. No, I'm just saying he has his dick on his back, literally while he's flying through the air. And you see what Heist has been thinking about all week long. All week, I think it's just like this. What about a dentist? He is drilling your mouth. He's really drilling in your mouth the whole time. Hey man, we have fun. We have fun over here, man. We just making shit up to have fun. It sounds like it. Yeah, tandem skydiving, exactly. Thank you, Juggernaut. That's crazy. Uh, no, thank you. What about a fireman? I'm not doing that shit. I'm chicken. A fireman? Yeah, he's fireman. Ca- he's carrying a hose around. All so you, you've never carried any hose. Spray, he's spraying with his hose. You never carried any hose. You know you don't carry some hose. I spin to come out on y'all. Ass, Y'all crazy, man. This is the gay part of the show. We have fun with this shit. All right, what about a chiropractor? The chiropractor does have his... Speaking, of, Speaking of chiropractors... I, uh, I just had my first alignment, and I, you know, just not saying any names. Uh, my friend was with me, and she went into the other room with the chiropractor, and when she came back out, she had a story to tell me. She was like, that he was rubbing in her... His, his meat on her the whole time, like either her shoulder, her side, her thigh, the whole fucking time. You know? <laughs> she she told me about this, so man. So fucking awkward. <coughs> and I said, "Hey, this go with the show for Friday, man. This gonna be on." on you the know, but party. I have close oh, contact shit. with people while I'm tattooing, so my breasts and stuff are on people all the time. Like their hands literally up under my boobs sometimes. <coughs> Word. Really. <coughs> I know but, that. You know, it's awkward. Like you're in a, certain professions, you're in somebody's bubble. You don't have a choice. All right, what about a censor for the NFL? He literally yeah. bends That's over. That's what I say every time. He, That's he, a bad he, job. He bends over, let a man put his hands on his nuts and his ass and hike a ball to him. Right back to straight men. They say they're straight, but they just want to All wrestle right. in. What about a caddy? <laughs> what about a caddy for um golf? Why? Why? He's literally carrying <laughs> the man's sack around the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, anybody in the chat who's gay, if you want to smack ice, I promise I'll let you. Pro wrestler? I thought about that. I, I was going to say a, um, a wrestling, a YouTube wrestler. I was going to put that on there. Y'all know how that. many times a night I wake up and and see Heist building building him a man, like the ideal man he wants. Oh, WWE he on two K. He got on, him a man in some underwear and building him a man. That's why I started putting pants on all my dude. If I'm going to create a wrestling on WWE 2K, I'm going to put pants on them now. Because Charlene looks up in the middle of the night, and I'm sitting there with an oily black man and some damn bone <laughs> drawers. I said, no! The man never looks like him, so I think he builds his type. It's like he always got some kind of light-skinned, pretty dude. Because they show up better on the TV I got. Okay, yeah. That's his story, all right. y'all. He's a police a is a gay job. I know your type. Because they get frisked. They like to touch man's dicks the whole time. My man likes light skinned dudes. Oh. <laughs> Fuck out of here. And last but not least, the gayest job ever that you could ever have is working for the Carolina Tar Heels organization. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you got fucking well, team take alone. it as a compliment. <laughs> 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 I 
<clears throat> if you a coach, a ball boy, if you motherfucking play for Carolina Tar Heels, Michael Jordan, Vince Carter I included. I you use that as a derogatory term, so that's definitely a compliment. <clears throat> that's the gayest job you can ever have in life. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.